I want to bounce this idea off of you. I brought it up last week to Kenny, and Kenny Kenny kind of got on board to a certain extent with it. Um, and I don't want to speak for him, but he he did. <laughs> uh, but I was talking about like if you want added an added punch and a reason to show up to games this year, every single opportunity with all this realignment nonsense going on, every single opportunity this year, especially at home, is a way to show power conferences that Without you are worthy. Without you know what I mean? Like uh, not only the on-field product, I think for the team winning those shows your value, but if you have Atmosphere. 35, 40, yes. 45 deep every single game, that means something that really does. Yes. With I, I am in lockstep with you on that because if, if you're winning games, that's great. That's wonderful. Yes. We talk about that a lot. But if there's nobody there to watch you yeah, games, it's like damn. And there's nobody watching on TV. Even if you win ten games and there's no one there, it's like how then you're not attractive to you're not to showing value. Conferences. You're not. As but, much as the product has to show its value, I think the fan base does too. You have yes. to show your value. Yes, yes, because guess what comes from butts and seats, money. Yep. What is all of this about at the end money. of the day? Money. That is it. Yep. So if you show you can fill a stadium. Have people engaged from a television audience and win games. That's that's the secret sauce. Yep. That's it. And Memphis has shown that they can put butts in seats if they are good. It's true. Yep. Go look at any Power 5 game they've ever played. They yes. put butts in seats. Yes. And, and Go people look at would any- also say it would be some of the Power 5, uh, the – Fans of that Power Five school as well, like Mississippi State and Ole Miss, bring a fair amount to the stadium. But still, those games are like fifty thousand, sixty thousand deep. Pull up SMU. Deep. Pull up SMU. Yes, you know? for sure. And, and I know that's college game day. And that that's, was Cotton Bowl. What, right. Hopes. Right. That's what you know. People can say whatever that that's a once in a million shot. Not if you win games. Yeah. Not if you win games. Not if you win games. Not if I mean. Like if there's if, a scenario, if, if there's the, a scenario where they could go into the Tulane game. Undefeated. They're both undefeated, yeah, and that, that could be that a college be game huge. day. Now Tulane. I, I got to say, Ole Miss early in the season, that's tough. tough. That's tough. tough. It is. But, but it's not unheard of. You go into a game like that and you're both undefeated and it's a light week in college football. Yeah. That can be Why a game not? day. Like, it's not impossible. Yeah. You just have to control your own destiny. And I also, even leading up to that, you, obviously you'd have to beat Mizzou. You'd have to beat Boise State along the way. Right. Um, But game day choosing – that place, like that SMU game, was late in the season. Later in the season, yes, it was. So November, they saw. I they also saw how many butts were in the seats leading up to it. You got to show. You yeah. got to show it. Yeah, you got to show that you can be valuable. So, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Like it's a, it. You never know when that type of thing can pop up. But it's about it's about that formula: winning ball games, and go getting, handle business, and getting that fan base engaged.